Hello, I'm Rajiv and I'm on a mission to help young participants clear tests such as IELTS, TOEFL, PTE and SAT and get admissions to their dream colleges or get their dream jobs. In this presentation today, we are going to learn an important reading comprehension skill and we are going to take a passage uh, as an example here. Many times you will find that uh, the passage that you get is something which is very new. So this is a passage which is maybe something which you have not read earlier. It's out of scope of your domain and you have to do the passage and answer questions based on the passage. One important technique that you can remember and which you can apply is you can go straight to the questions first and understand the nature of questions and accordingly mold your reading style. So let us see what type of questions are there in this passage. The first question says that you are supposed to identify paragraphs. So which paragraph? So these are, these are paragraph based questions. Which paragraph contains following information? So which information? Examples of different ways in which parallax principle has been applied. So they are talking about the parallax principle and how it is applied. All right. Description of, so this is a description, which means a detailed kind of details about something of an event which prevented a transit observation. All right. So some event which prevented something. A statement about potential future discoveries. So future discoveries leading to or uh, leading on from transit observations. So some future discoveries would be there. A description of physical states connected with Venus. So physical states connected with Venus, which early astronomers uh, failed to overcome. So some instruments, the limitation of instruments is what they are talking about. So this is the first set of questions. The second second set of questions says match each statement with the correct person. So like it's like who did what kind of question. So, all right, there are some four things said here and there are four names. So we have to match it, which means whenever we get these names, we'll try to understand what they are saying. Look, I'm not reading these questions. I'm just trying to un understand the nature of the passage. The last set of questions, the last five questions are true, false, not given. And they are uh, very factual in nature. So I'll just read first two words. Haley observed, Lee Gentle managed, the shape of Venus appears, Early astronomers suspected the parallax principle. All right, so whenever I get these keywords, I'll try to apply it here. And usually these kind of questions are there in the sequence. So I'll try to answer questions accordingly. Okay, now how do I start? I understand the passage is about something related to Venus and transit. And here they have given a picture of Venus also. And this is something which I don't know. So how do I do this passage? I suggest that you go for combing technique. In combing technique, you read one paragraph at a time, try to understand that particular paragraph, put all your energies into the, that particular paragraph only, keep on making notes, and just do questions related to that paragraph. So the advantage of this is, you don't have to read the whole passage in its entirety, you don't have to understand the story. As such, in these kind of passages, there are no stories, because they are very much uh, scientific in nature, so they are facts and figures and kind of some observations which could be beyond the scope of your knowledge or my knowledge or anyone's knowledge for that matter. The content is all alien. So why should we really uh, break our heads in understanding the passage when we just have to answer a few questions and move on? So let's do this and let's try to find out how we get the answers correctly and quickly. So let's just read the introduction. So they are saying that June 2004 ke mahine mein, saw the first passage known as transit. So something related to transits were observed, observed in this particular date of the planet Venus across the face of the sun. All right, so this is my sun, this is my Venus and some transit is happening here, which means this, this guy is moving from some place to some other place. And that's what they are talking about. All right, transits have helped shape our view of the whole universe. Okay, so in order to understand universe, Transits are helpful, as this gentleman said. All right, so we are going to study about transit of Venus. 
or uh, how venus changes its position or shape i don't know but then this is what is this passage all about so let's see what's happening so another date here something in 2004 we are in 2020 right now more than half the population of the world were treated to a rare astronomical event to koi event ki baat ho rahi hai bhai for for over 6 hours the planet venus steadily inched its way over the surface of sun so if this is sun then venus was just moving around sun like this <coughs> the transit of venus was the first since 6 december 1882 oh my god so quite a special event this was on that occasion the american astron astronomer this gentleman led a party to this place south africa gaye log they 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 were based at girls school where it is alleged the combined forces of three school mistresses out performed the professionals with the accuracy of their observation so these guys scientists failed and some school mistresses did a great job there is what this paragraph is saying so this is very very preliminary information i'll say preliminary information about some kind of observation that happened let me see how many questions i can answer based on this all i gather is these scientists went to some place in south africa they tried to to observe something but the school mistresses observed it in a better way <clears throat> is all i understand this is again very important read a paragraph paraphrase it in your own words and then try to gather information so was this said examples of different ways in which parallax principle nothing is said about parallax principle this one is not beyond it beyond this passage description of an event which prevented a transit well i don't see any description of event is prevented a transit a statement about potential future discoveries not really there are they are, they are not talking about any future discoveries and usually this is the last paragraph where they talk about future this is a general uh, i can say jugaad which you can use they usually talk about what would happen in future in the last paragraph description of physical states connected with venus they are also not talking about anything related to physical states connected with venus and how it changes all those things none of these names are there in this paragraph so i am skipping all these questions because these names are not there so these questions are also not answered haley lee gentle shape of venus appears to be distorted early an astronomer suspected that atmosphere on venus was toxic nothing is said like that parallax principle allows so all these questions are not there in the first paragraph first paragraph is just basic information now let me read the second paragraph in the same way now see i can i can forget the first paragraph now i don't have to remember it because all that first paragraph could give has gone i mean that's what it could give us it has given nothing as such but yes this uh, method helps you to just move on one paragraph at a time for centuries transit of venus have drawn explorers and astronomers alike to the four from to the four centers corners of the globe okay so this is something which is like it attracts many people okay and you can put it all down to the extraordinary polymath edmund haley so haley there is one name haley here and i am sure there would be some question based on this haley observed a transit of innermost planet mercury so he observed it for mercury from some island at this so haley observed mercury is i am writing here from some place in south africa south pacific so this this place seems to be quite favorite he realized he realized means he found out that from different latitudes the passage of planet across the sun's disk would appear to differ so this is my sun's disk sun's disk and this is the planet so from different places different latitudes this is latitude 1 this is latitude 2 so from different latitudes the position seems to be different would appear to be to differ by timing the transit from two widely separated locations teams of astronomers could calculate parallax angle all right so they are able to find out something called as parallax angle here so they are telling how to calculate it the apparent difference in position of an astronomical body due to difference in observations observer's position all right calculating this angle would allow astronomers to measure what was the ultimate goal so would allow us so this is in future tense as you can see they are not measuring it would allow 
is what they are saying. The distance of Earth from Sun. This distance is known as this. So distance from Earth and Sun. Difference from Earth and Sun is something that they are able to, I mean, they would be able to do. And they are calling as, it as AU. So all right, fine. What I find here is some guy, Haley, was there and he observed it for Mercury. And they are talking about some parallax angle. So from different places, they are observing some planet and saying that there's a difference in observation and they call it as parallax angle. And this would allow these people to find out the dis distance between Earth and Sun. All right. So great. I understand what this paragraph is. And now let me see. Examples of different ways in which parallax principle has been applied. Now has been since to be past, like it's already applied. So I, I don't think this is the paragraph. Description of an event which prevented a transit observation. So there is nothing like preventing a transit observation. A statement about potential future discoveries leading to transit observation. Potential future discoveries leading to transit observation. Maybe, I'm not sure, but then leading to transit observation. Potential future discoveries. I can say that they are saying that, you know, not transit observation, it was about distance between Sun and uh, Earth. So this is also not there. A description of physical states of Venus. Again, this is not said. Edmund Haley comes here. So what did he say? Edmund Haley was the one who watched it for um, Mercury. And I'll just, for my reference, I'll read it once again. Edmund Haley in this observed a transit of innermost planet. However, he realized from different latitudes the passage of planet across the sun's day. So he was the one who gave this concept of parallel, parallax principle and parallax angle. He calculated the distance of sun from earth based on observation. No, he didn't calculate it. He understood that the distance of sun from earth could be worked out by comparing observations of a transit. Yes, he's definitely saying that. So I'll say this one is A. He understood that the distance of sun from earth could be worked out by comparing observations of a transit. He realized that the time taken by a planet to go around sun depends on its distance, nothing of that sort. He witnessed a Venus transit, but was so nothing of that sort is said here. Haley observed one transit of planet Venus. No, he observed it for Mercury as we remember. So this one is false. So this particular paragraph has given us two answers. And the gentle shape of Venus, all these questions are not there. So I can move on to the next paragraph now and see how that one is answered. Haley was aware of AU was one of the most fundamental of all astronomical measurements. John Kepler, so JK, now this JK person comes into picture here. In this place at this time had shown that the distance of planets from sun governed their orbital speeds. Oh, so I've seen this kind of thing happening here. I, speed is ringing some bells in my ear. So there was a question related to speed, which this guy is saying. So the distance from sun determines the speed. So let me go straight to that question here. Understood that distance of sun from earth could be worked out. He realized that time taken by time taken by planet to go around the sun, which means the speed. So you know, see, this is how they paraphrase sometimes. Time taken to go around would be speed, right? To go around the sun depends on its distance from sun. So this is definitely our friend JK. So answer would be B for this one. All right. So I understand what is going on. So see, I'm just reading the passage and whenever something strikes my mind, I go to that question and I answer it. But no one had found a way to calculate accurate distance of planets from Earth. Planets from Earth, okay. The goal was to measure AU then, knowing the orbital speeds of all the other planets around the sun, the scale of solar system would fall into place. All right, so they are saying that they wanted to find out AU, which is astronomical units, which is distance of Earth and sun. However, Haley realized that Mercury was so far away from its parallax angle, would be very difficult to determine as Venus was closer to Earth its parallax angle would be larger and Haley worked out that by using Venus, it would be possible to measure the sun's distance, this part to this part, that there was a problem. So basically Haley was the one who said that, okay, go to Venus because your Mercury is not giving you the results you want. So you try Venus. Now, what are they saying exactly? I don't know. All I'm going by is the tone. So. Venus had some issues, they have used this however word here, 
and they are saying that there was they had some issues with Venus, so that is why they are saying that let's try. Sorry, some issues with Mercury, so that's let's try Venus. But there was a problem again. There is a but. So whenever you find these kind of words, words but, however, circle them because there is a U-turn happening there. So there was a problem. Transit of Venus, unlike those of Mercury, are rare, occurring in pairs roughly eight years apart every hundred or so years. Oh my God, so one has to wait for hundred years. Nevertheless, he accurately predicted that Venus would cross the face of Sun in both at this place and this time and this time. Okay. Though he didn't survive to see either. Oh, chala gaya Haley. So Haley gone and he suggested that Venus was something which could be used. All right, a description of an event. No examples of different ways in which Pilex principle has been applied. I don't think whether it is said there examples of different ways in which Pilex principle has been applied. A description. So, Pilex principle is it applied here? Calculate accurate distance to the plants. The goal was to measure AU. Knowing the orbital speed of this, Haley measured Mercury and all this they are saying. Parallax angles, Venus was closer to Earth. Its parallax angle would be larger and Haley worked out that by using it, we would be able to sense it. Probably I'll go with C for this one, but I'm not sure. So I'll just see, write C here. Examples, where is that one? I think it is. Examples one. So this I'll, I'll just write C here and I'll put a question mark. I'm not sure. Is description of event? No, this nothing is said about this. So fine. I have already got two answers from this paragraph. One answer from this C that John Kepler and then this guy said that we can find out uh, the distance of Earth and Sun by observing the different types of transits. But is there any question related to that? Let me just see. Astronomers to work out how far away distant stars are from Earth. Parallax principle allows astronomers. So this one seems to be true as we have got the information there. Early astronomers suspected that atmosphere, no shape of Venus, no the gentle, no heli observed are true. So this is fine. Any other question that I can answer? None of these names have come, so I'll not force myself to answer any question. I'll read further and see if there is uh, some other information given there. So let me move on to the next paragraph. Inspired by Haley's suggestion of a way to pin down the scale of solar system, okay, team of British French astronomers did something, and but things weren't helped by the British and France being on war. So there is some kind of war happening between Britain and France. The person who deserves more sympathy is this guy. Oh, sympathy. So this guy is saying that they, this, so France, I'm just writing there France and Britain, and they have introduced the name of a scientist, this guy, and he deserves some sympathy, which means he could not do something. He was thwarted. Thwarted means stopped. by the fact that the British were besieging his observation site at Pondicherry in India, so they were not allowing him to go there. Fleeing on a French warship crossing the Indian Ocean, this guy saw a wonderful transit. Oh, so he saw a transit. Then again, there is a but. Ships pitching and drawling ruled out any attempt at making accurate observations. So he was able to see but not absorb. So he was able to see but no accurate observations possible because of the ship. So he was able to see some transit. Undaunted, he remained south of the equator. He kept on moving from Mauritius to Madagascar. And then he observed the next transit in Philippines. Oh my God. Ironically, after traveling these many kilometers, his view was again clouded out at the last moment. Very disparaging experience. So this guy, the gentle, that's why they are saying that he deserves all the sympathy. He worked hard, but he failed. He could not move his transit. There were two transits. One he was able to see, but he was not able to make any accurate observations. And the other one he was not able to see clouded at the last moment. His view was clouded, as they are saying. So, all right, fine, let's see. So, Lee Gentle name is here. 
he calculated distance understood the distance realized the time taken by planet to go around witnessed a venus transit was one able to make any calculation so for this question for sure the answer is c that he was not able to make any observations okay uh, description of an event which prevented transit observation this is also definitely said in um, this paragraph and which paragraph is this i think it is d so description of event which prevented so the answer to this one is also d then a statement about potential future discoveries no as a description of physical states no uh, an example how dif different base principle of parallax is applied that is c and we are doing that let me just read question answer please lee gentle managed to observe second venus transit he did not manage this is false because you know his his view was clouded they said shape of venus early astronomers okay fine so i am moving i am happy that i am able to answer a few questions based on whatever paragraphs i am reading now i got three more paragraphs and four five more questions while the early transit timing were as precise as instruments so they are not of more the instruments would allow the measurements were dogged by black drop effect so there was some kind of effect by venus now they are talking about some things related to venus and the instruments venus begins to cross the sun's disk it looks smeared not clear so venus view venus looks smeared so the view of it is not clear which makes it difficult to establish timing so basically it is difficult to understand it or make observations this is due to diffraction of light so they are talking about reason the second problem is that venus exhibits a halo of light when it is seen just outside the sun's disk so there is some kind of light happening there and that does not allow to make observation it seems while this showed astronomers that venus was surrounded by a thick layer of gases refracting sunlight around it but both effects made it impossible to obtain accurate timings so here they are definitely talking about venus physical properties and these properties do not allow us to measure timings or something of that sort so let me see examples of different ways in which at the description of event statement about potential future discoveries description of physical states definitely this one so i'll write e here we are talking about physical description of i mean the structure of venus and physical features that's e and i made an you know, entry there now uh, was there any name of any scientist in this paragraph i don't think so in e there isn't any so i'll uh, kind of see if i can answer any of these questions shape of venus appears distorted when it goes so they say it is smeared which is like distorted and i'll say this is true early astronomers suspected that mosquito or venus was toxic well they do say that it was covered by gases but were these gases toxic outside this uh showed astronomers that venus was surrounded by thick layer of gases but thick layer of gases were they toxic or not i don't know were they poisonous so i'll say not given so all these questions seem to be answered there now i'm left with which question i'm left with uh, these three also seem to be answered so this one he calculated distance of sun from earth based on observations of venus so c b a are all gone which means i'm left with only john frank ake he calculated the distance so let, i can just straight away go to this question and see where is this john frank ake mentioned so john frank oh here it is john frank ake so i can just read what is this labored hard to analyze the results of these expeditions to observe venus transit at this place he was director finally determined the value of au based on the parallax measurements well 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 this is the place reasonably accurate for the time that it's quite close to today's value and this this au is a cosmic measuring rod and basis of how we scale can be extended now see they are talking about the application of parallax principle to find the distance of stars if you look at this then this they are talking about it will seem to be in different positions and this knowing the earth's orbit the parallax shift lets astronomers calculate the distance so they are talking about the application of parallax principle also here the paragraph is f so that question where i was a little skeptical seems to be f i wrote c there so i'll say f examples of different ways in which parallax principle can be applied is f definitely so 
this is this a statement about potential future discoveries leading on to transit observation as i told you this is a jugaad whenever they talk about something in future it is usually the last paragraph and just to confirm i'll read the last paragraph once again 2004 uh, venus was thus far this 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 so thus far means up till now they are talking about the past then a specifically important event but such transits have paved the way now paved the way is talking about the future for what might prove to be one of the vital breakthroughs in cosmos detecting earth sized planets okay fine so this is the future they are talking about that later on we can find out some earth like planets so a description of physical which question was that about potential future discoveries so this is definitely i think g which paragraph is that g yes so this one goes for g so i think i have we answered all the questions f d g this one is e then i calculated the distance okay fine so this one we found out was um, this one is d rk was the person as we found out we have answered these questions also and we have answered these questions as well so this is how you can go about answering questions for the passage which is a little difficult which is out of scope the technique that we used is called as the combing technique and in the combing technique instead of reading the whole passage we keep on reading just one paragraph at a time gather information related to that and answer questions based on that paraphrasing is something which is very important understanding the keywords is very important and identifying those signpost words like but and however is also very very important thank you for all your patience i hope it was a very uh, knowledgeable session please apply all these techniques when you do your reading comprehension passages read the questions first so let me just sum it up read the questions first read the questions first based on the questions try to find out the best technique to read the passage and then keep on answering the questions one by one you can use combing for the passages which are little scientific in nature which are out of scope so instead of reading the whole passage you can simply do combing this way and just keep on answering one question at a time all the very best for all your tests in case you have got any questions or in case you need any help you can reach me just write notes on this or you can reach me at 9198710101015 just send me a message and we can discuss and take it forward all the very best to you thank you very much